Hello everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video on Adobe Scan. We will be using it to turn written documents into PDFs for submitting. Uh, we'll use it on exams, but it can be used on any other um, things as well. So uh, Adobe Scan looks like this. It is available on iPhones and iPads and Android and any other devices. Uh, it is a free app, uh, easy to download and use, so I'm going to show you a few things. So let's open Adobe Scan. I've used it before a bunch, so I've got documents in here already. Uh, it can turn existing photos into PDFs, or you can take them within the app. I'm going to take them within the app here, so I'm going to click the little camera on the lower right. Uh, and I have mine set to automatically take a picture, so if I just have this uh, over, it will snap that, but you can press the little camera button in the middle and it will take it whenever you're ready. Um, make sure you're using uh, good lighting. Natural light is best. Definitely don't use the flash as it washes out the contrast and um, it just um, makes it a little bit harder to pick up the different... Uh, uh, markings on the paper. So you can uh, adjust the um, borders as well and it allows you to, if, you're, if your camera isn't directly above, it can sort of change it to make it a perfect rectangle, but if you can hold your camera directly above so it's, uh, it's nice, it makes it even easier, but you should definitely adjust it so that the table isn't showing or the little rings isn't showing and just uh, makes, makes it better. Okay, um, We're going to Click continue here and we're gonna get a second page in this document, so continue. Uh, every app might be a little bit different depending on your, um, depending on your device that you're using. Um, so if the buttons are in different locations, anyway, this is going to take another photo. And oh, see it kind of got weird with the, uh, the border there, but I can adjust that, okay. What I'm documenting or sort of showing here is I really want everybody to make sure if your uh, submission is more than one page uh, that you do those pages within the same uh, PDF in Adobe Scan. You should not be submitting multiple separate PDFs. Uh, it should all be one and that can be done just by taking another picture. Uh, some other apps you specifically have to like click on adding another page to the same document. Regardless, you should be able to figure that out. Um, please take your photos in order. Uh, that should be easy enough for you to manage and you shouldn't expect me to reorder the, the things and, and change everything there as well. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can email me and I can help you out. You can use similar apps, all of that good stuff. So let's uh, click continue here and show you how to rename and what to do for saving the file. So I'm gonna press uh, in the lower right uh, the sort of summary that I had two pages and I guess I just want to point out here that uh, it definitely doesn't look like a photo anymore it's processed it and turned it into a PDF which is way easier to read um, way easier for me to print should I need to do that or mark it up should I need to do that uh, there are a bunch of features on the bottom here where if you forgot to add a page or you want to reorder or crop or rotate or any of that stuff you can do. You probably shouldn't have to tinker with the color or anything like that very much. Um, it should look something like this. And if, if you click the little pencil icon there, uh, you can change the name. And I'm asking you to use your last name and your first name in there. And then it's a good idea to say just what it is. I'm going to pretend that this is exam one. Okay, and I'm going to click OK, and then finally I'll click Save PDF, and it will save it within the app. Um, other apps behave differently, some house them within there, some don't, um, but what you're going to need to do is get this to a place where you can submit it on D2L or, you know, if you're using this for other classes, whatever they use, you will be able to use this app to send yourself a PDF and save it wherever you want. So if you click Share, what you're going to want to do is share a copy. And then I personally use Google Drive, and that's where I store everything. But for, for sort of a, a catch-all solution that a lot of people have used is to just mail it to yourself. So whatever email you have within your phone or whether you want to uh, do Google Drive or Dropbox or anything like that, you can do that. So if you email it to yourself, you'll see it attaches it here as a PDF 
uh, and that should be easy. You email it to yourself, save it wherever, and then you can submit it on D2O, all right? I hope that helps. Please email me if you have any questions, um, and I can try and help you out.